A weird realm covered in heavy haze exists in the area of the gas giants. This is Titan, a moon orbiting Saturn's ringed planet that is bigger than the planet Mercury. It is a moon that has long captured the attention of scientists because it has been found that massive oceans, lakes, and rivers are pouring over some of its frozen surface beneath all that dense cloud. Apart from Earth, this is the only location in the solar system where liquid can be seen flowing across the surface. Could life exist in Titan's seas and lakes, just as it does on Earth? What may it look like if they do? You are watching V101 Space. My name is Rob. If you like what you see, please subscribe and press the notification bell so you won't miss an upload. Titan is a very enigmatic place. The moon still has many mysteries to be revealed despite being visited by four different spacecraft. For instance, from where did its dense atmosphere originate? How did the lakes and seas develop there? Does it have the capacity to support life? The Voyager spacecraft crossed Titan in the early 1980s, but it wasn't until the Cassini spacecraft arrived in 2006 that large liquid bodies on Titan were really confirmed. It was revealed that the lakes and seas on Titan are composed of liquid methane and ethane, as opposed to the oceans of Earth, which are composed of water. These lakes and seas, which are visible in these stunning radar photos, are often found in Titan's polar regions. Some of the largest ones are comparable in size to the Great Lakes of North America. They are also extraordinarily deep, with some sections being predicted to be over 200 meters deep, fed by rivers that pierce Titan's ice environment. Deep, 656 feet, Titan's seas and lakes are assumed to have developed from the breakdown of methane and nitrogen in its atmosphere. However, this is still a mystery. These substances eventually cool and condense into clouds, which then return to the Earth as rain or snow. On Earth, the methane supply in our atmosphere is mostly renewed by life itself. Methane is a byproduct of many species' metabolism, and it can be found in even the most basic biological sources, such as those connected to peat bogs, rice fields, and creatures like cows or sheep. So, is the presence of methane on Titan evidence of life? One thing is certain, if life exists on Titan, it will be very different from life on Earth. Life as we know it, which depends on liquid water, would not be able to live on its surface if there was no liquid water there. With temperatures averaging approximately minus 179 degrees Celsius, it is brutally cold here which translates to minus 290 Fahrenheit. This mystery moon's hostile environment makes it difficult for life as we know it to exist there. However, that doesn't imply that life hasn't managed to flourish on Titan. For instance, it has been found that some microbes on Earth can consume and exist in hydrocarbons, and the lakes on Titan are mostly made up of liquid hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. However, scientists have speculated that Titan life could be based on an entirely different biochemistry. Any life that might exist in these lakes would have to be adapted to surviving in an environment that is significantly different from Earth's. These living forms might utilize hydrocarbons like methane and ethane in place of water as a solvent. To survive, the organisms would need a different cell structure though. Any organism from Earth wouldn't survive long if dropped into one of Titan's lakes. Even the toughest of our single-cell organisms are held together by lipid-based membranes. Because some lipid components reject water molecules and others attract them, the lipids stick together and form a barrier. However, Titan's lakes don't contain any water, and the icy conditions would freeze any life on Earth to a solid state. However, another chemical such as a acrylonitrile, might be able to do the same task and endure Titan's severe environment. Amazingly, researchers have discovered acrylonitrile molecules directly on Titan and in sufficient numbers to potentially support millions of single-celled organisms. Consequently, 
it is plausible that microbes could serve as the foundation of a complex ecosystem on this peculiar moon, with a larger organism possibly feeding on them and so forth. Even though these theories are intriguing, we don't yet have enough knowledge to say with certainty what kind of life, if any, might exist on Titan. The Hygen's Pro, which penetrated Titan's atmosphere in 2005 and became the first Pro to land on a moon in the outer solar system, is the only Pro to have ever touched down on its surface. It transmitted data for around 90 minutes after landing and snapped magnificent pictures as it dropped and touched down. We can see what appears to be a dried up, generally level, pedal-strewn plane in this amazing surface view, which may have formerly been covered in flowing liquid methane. But as you can see, no sign of life is present. Titan's surface may have unique life forms, which is an intriguing thought but outgassing is more likely to be the source of Titan's atmosphere's methane. Titan was presumably too hot when it formed for volatile substances like methane and nitrogen to stay on the surface. These substances, however, were entrapped inside the moon. Volatile substances began to leak via fissures in Titan's crust as the heat in its innards started to dissipate over time. The complex mixture of gases that makes up Titan's thick atmosphere today was created by the subsequent combination of these substances. Does this mean that Titan, a strange moon, is sterile if this is the cause of Titan's atmosphere's rich methane and not the result of life swimming through its icy, flowing lakes? As with the most of the solar system, life cannot exist there, at least not right now. Well, perhaps not. Deep beneath Titan's frozen crust, according to observations and measurements made by the Huygens Pro and the Cassini spacecraft, there may be a subsurface ocean of liquid water. It's plausible that life may exist in Titan's subsurface ocean if such a body of water does exist. Since water is essential to life as we know it, the ocean might serve as a habitat for organisms that have evolved to survive in Titan's particular ecosystem. The circumstances in this underground ocean, like those in the methane lakes above, would be radically dissimilar from those on Earth. A prospective life form's capacity to exist could be hampered by the ocean's extreme temperature and likely high concentration of salts and other dissolved materials. Titan may therefore contain habitats that are suited for life, both life as we know it and life as we do not yet know it. Titan's complex chemistry and unusual habitats are certain to make it a target for further research, even if there is currently no proof of life there. This mysterious moon is a world unto itself, with methane lakes and seas, as well as a hidden underground ocean. Will life eventually be found on this far-off, foggy moon, proving that we are not alone? Time will only tell. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you did, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. There will be a lot more still. Appreciate your interest and hope to see you again soon.